YouTube, this is another video brought to you by Mike2 and for this video I'm going to show you how to delete a partition using the command line. So to get started, let's bring up the disk manager. So press the Windows key and X on your keyboard and click on this manager. If you're on Windows 7, then just right click on my computer when you hit the start button. So this is the disk manager. So as you can see, this display all the current disk on on the in the computer basically, right? So this is what I want to delete. I want to delete this partition, which is on this one. Um, it's quite easy to delete partition using this screen here, the disk manager, but some of these partition is very very hard to delete especially this one here the EFI system partition when I right click on it the dis delete, delete volume is actually grayed out but for this one here it's easy for me to delete that one using the graphical interface but because I'm unable to delete this one here I, I, t I took this one as a, a, an opportunity to show everyone how to uh, delete this partition using um, the CMD, the command line. So let's get started with that one. Okay, so now to bring up the command line, you can press the Windows button and R. That will bring up the run and then just type in CMD. So if I type in CMD, that will bring up the command line. Or alternatively, you can just hit the Windows key and X to bring up this menu and click command line but you need to make sure you select the one with the admin next to it this will come up and then just press yes okay so once this comes up what we need to do is to type in this part Once the disk part comes up, let's list the available disk by typing list. Disk. This will tell you the available disk currently on our system. And the partition I, I want to delete is actually in this one. So I need to select that disk. So just type in select this one now that this is selected you can list the current partition on the disk so just type in list partitions and there you go those are the two current partitions on that disk so we need to delete them so but first of all uh, I'll start with the, the easiest one the one you can actually delete using the the GUI so we need to select the partition that we wish to delete so to select that just type in select partition 2 and now select partition 2 Okay, so once that is selected right, we need to delete it. So just type in delete partition and override. And that's all successfully deleted. So if you list the partition again, As you can see, we currently have just one partition since we deleted the the first one. And looking at the disk manager, as you can see, that one is deleted. There is no uh, allocated uh, volume for that. It's just the 200 meg, which we can see here as well. 200. Okay, so. The next thing that we need to do is to delete this one here, the partition one, which is quite a, prob a problem 
deleting from the GUI. So if I right click on it, as you can see, I do not have the option to delete, to delete that one using the graphical interface. And this is a known issue with the EFI system partitions. So to delete that, just like we did before, we need to, we need to select the partition first. So if I list the partition, so list partition, it's just the partition one now. So I just want to delete just that one now. So we need to select it. So select one. Now that it's selected, we just have to type in delete partition override. There you go. So it's now successfully deleted. Okay, so um, as you can see in the disk manager, it's showing the full volume, right? And it's totally deleted. All right, so if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Please make sure you subscribe because it helps me out a lot and hit the thumbs up button.